In today's video, I'm going to share with you some of my tips and tricks and just things that I do that help me stay organized, that allow me to get everything done that I need to do. I have a lot to do, so let's get going. Hey, y'all, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee, and this is my channel. And let me tell you a little bit about myself so you understand how much I have to do. I'm a wife, I'm a mom to two daughters, I'm a dog mom, and I own three businesses. I have a household to run, and so I feel like in my daily life, every single day, I have so many things that I have to get done. Just some days it's overwhelming, and today is one of those days. So I thought it would be the perfect day to share with you some of my tips and tricks and secrets that I employ to just help me stay organized and to get it all done. And you're gonna be able to use the majority of these things in your personal life. You can implement them in your business life too if you need to, but these are just things that you can do in your home that will help you stay organized. Whether you're just planning things in your household or keeping track of your kids' schedules or whatever it is you have to do, or if you own a business, you have a business to run, I have some tips for you. Now, I do have one tip that is specifically for business. If you use social media to promote a brand or a business, I have something for you. And I'm gonna save that to the end of the video because the majority of you may not be interested in that, so I'm gonna save it for the end. Okay, so let's get going. How do I stay so organized? We all have to pay taxes, whether it's personal taxes, whether you have business taxes, you need to keep receipts, you need to keep copies of bills that were paid, there's paperwork. And so my favorite and the easiest way for me to keep track of everything is this. I love these A to Z file folders. I have a file folder for each of my three businesses and one for my personal life. Put, put whatever it is on the front of it. This is my business, Craving the Curls Road Ice Cream. Put a year on it, and every time you pay a bill, you have a receipt. Doesn't matter how big or small it is, just file it A to Z. Don't leave it laying around. Get it out of your purse. Put it in the file. So when it's tax time, it is right here. It is alphabetized. You don't have to go looking for something. You don't have to go digging around in a drawer for a piece of paper. Just put it in the file. I get these file folders on Amazon. They're available in all kinds of colors, or you can just get brown, depending on how many you need. I love to have mine color-coded. You can see I have purple, I have blue. So, at the end of the year, after my taxes are filed, I take all of my file folders and I put them in a big, one of those big Rubbermaid boxes, and I put it in the attic, and it's done. My years are all together, year by year, and I don't have to think about it again. And then at the beginning of the year, I buy myself a new A to Z file folder. So this is my office, but I keep everything here. I've got two businesses there. I've got folders behind it, if you can see, and everything is labeled by year, and boom, I just file everything away. Now, these are some things, some receipts that I laid up here that I have not filed away. And I'm gonna be honest, this causes me stress. I need to put those in my file folder because just laying around stresses me out. But I'm gonna file those away today. So let me start out by showing you something super cool you can do on your iPhone. I bet you didn't even know that you could do this, but there is a to-do list, a checklist that is a function of your iPhone. And y'all, I use this all the time. I recently discovered this, and when I even showed it to my two college daughters, they didn't know you could do it. So they're, they were like, show me how to do that, mom. But this is so cool. I keep lists on my phone, checklist, little grocery list, things I've gotta do, and it, it is a huge time saver. So let me show you how to do this on your iPhone. So if, if you have an iPhone, you have a notes tab. Click on the notes, and I, of course I have lots of notes in here, but I keep a note for my business and a personal to-do list. And what notes do, it lets you put an item in here, and when you do it, you can check it off. And so it moves it to the bottom of the list, which is so cool. So let me show you how to do this. If you start a brand new note, let's call it to-do list. 
When you hit return, see this little button right here with the check mark? If you hit it, it makes that circle and then you can type in what you need. So go and then hit return and it automatically puts that little check mark on there. So I'm just making these up. So we wanna wash the car and we wanna give the dog a bath. So there's my to-do list for the day. And every time I do one of these things, I can check it off. And if you decide, okay, well, maybe I need to go to the grocery two times, uncheck it and it moves it back up to the top. So this is something super handy that you can keep on your phone, whether you're gonna make a quick, quick to-do list or a grocery list, definitely make a checklist in your notes on your iPhone. My next tip is super simple and almost common sense, but you would be surprised at how many people don't do this. I'm in my utility room and this is where we come into our house from the garage. And every time I come in, of course, I have my purse. And my husband has a backpack with his laptop that he takes to, to work with him every day. So when I come in the utility room door, I have a hook. This is where I put my purse. I never have to go looking for my purse. And this is the world we live in. I have my face masks here, so I'm ready to go. And then we have another hook here. This is where we keep the dog's collars. So if we go out, their collars are right here ready to go. We have a spare set of car keys. This is where Randy keeps his cooking apron for when he's grilling. And then when Randy comes in, he always puts his backpack on that hook. Come in, we put our things down here, and then we always know exactly where they are. So at my desk, y'all, there are just some things I have to have. I always, always have a to-do list, always. And let me show you my to-do list for today. As simple as it is, y'all, I'm old school. I love a pen and paper. I always have a notebook and I always have a to-do list. So today I've gotten a lot of stuff done already. It is actually 10 o'clock in the morning and I've already been able to walk some stuff off and I've actually walked the dogs already so I can mark that off. But these are just little things that I know that I have to do today. Even something as simple as I have somebody to meet at our ice cream shop at one o'clock, I write it down because I know that if I don't write this down, it is not gonna get done. Making a to-do list just frees up my mind. I don't have to worry about forgetting something or worry that I, I'm just not going to get something done. I write it down. I make a to-do list before I go to bed the night before. So when I get, get up in the morning, there it is. It just, I find that it honestly frees up a lot of my brain power and, and reduces my stress level if I have a to-do list. And I'm also old school, y'all. Again, I love an actual planner. I do not use a digital planner. I want to be able to open a page. I want to see the month at a time and I want to know exactly what is going on. So I always carry an actual planner with me and I love to have it by the month. So of course I've got appointments. I've got payroll for one of our businesses. I've just got things I need to know in my planner. If you're a digital person, you can have a digital planner. I'm not a digital person, so I always carry around a notebook with a to-do list and a planner. And then in my office, <laughs> of course I have dogs. They're always hanging with me, but I have a big calendar board. And this is more uh, business oriented, but I change this every month and I have to note, because I have to do payroll. I've got payroll in here. I have winter taxes due. I have the upcoming YouTube video scheduled. We own an ice cream shop, so I have flavors of the week at the ice cream shop. All of these things I can look at a glance, and these are more detailed things than I put in my day planner. This calendar is invaluable. And at the top of my list, I probably should have started with this. When there's clutter around me, my brain is cluttered, I just cannot be organized. So I keep a tidy home. But number one, I make my bed every single morning. I get up before my husband, but as soon as he gets out of bed, I come in here and I make the bed. I even make the dog's beds because I just need everything tidied up. 
so that I don't have clutter. I don't have a mess. Pollux will come in here and jump on my bed 20 times a day, and that's okay. He ruffles the, this is his blanket, but that's fine. At least my bed is made. The pillows are not on the floor. The dog's beds are put together, and this just makes me think straight. And here's what I mean. See, when I come in the bedroom, so does Pollux. He gets on my bed so many times a day. Oh my goodness gracious. There are a couple household organization things that make my life so much easier that allow me to just keep track of things and get things done and just never kind of get myself in a bind because I wasn't paying attention. I always have a little list and let me tell you how my list runs. We have a hard and fast rule in our house about a grocery list. If you use the last of something, you better write it on that list. If you, I've, and this has like been the rule in my house since my girls were little. If they use the last of something, they better write it down. If they don't write it down, I don't know to get it. If I go to the grocery and I didn't get it, they're gonna have to wait until the next week when I go back to the grocery. I only go to the grocery once a week and I live and die by my grocery list. The other day, Randy used the last of the ketchup. He writes it on the grocery list. Next time I go, I got it. Because I will never remember to look around my kitchen and know what I need. I just won't. So this is so important, y'all. Just keep a little notepad. Train the people that you live with. Use something. Write it down. Don't go back and get it for them. Y'all, I even am so strict about this that when I do my grocery shopping, the grocery I go to, like when you come in the door, you're in like the toiletry side and then I go to food next. If I have already passed through the toiletry section and somebody calls me or texts me and I'm already through that toiletry section and I'm like in the food section of my grocery store, and they call or text me and say, oh, mom, I forgot I needed deodorant. I do not backtrack. I am not going backwards. Too bad. They should have written it down. I know that's probably mean, y'all, but that's how I roll. And kind of along that same line is I, items that we use consistently and we use a lot. We go through a lot of them over and over and over. I always have a backup. I try to never run out of that. So for example, this is my lazy Susan. So I eat a lot of oatmeal. That is one of my go-to breakfast items. So I always have a backup oatmeal. So when I use, which I'm almost empty, of this oatmeal, I know I have another one in stock, but when this one's empty, I'm gonna write it on the grocery list. And it's really important to me and my family to have a backup of toiletry items. We go through toiletry items so fast that it just makes life easier to have a backup. Here's what I mean. So I always have a backup of things we use all the time. I've got a backup loofah, my soap we go through, shaving cream, all these things that we go through regularly and very often, I just keep a backup. So when the soap in the shower is empty and Randy or one of us gets this one out, then we write it on the grocery list. So it's just call always in a rotation, so I'm never out. It helps me to have some things automated. I have all of my the bills for my home and all of the bills for my business on auto pay. It's just so much easier when I don't have to think about it. They're just automatically paid. I have a checklist. I know when they're gonna be paid. I know what is going to be paid on what day, but when it happens automatically and I don't have to physically sit down and think about it and do it or remember to do it, it just makes things so much easier. Now, there are a couple of random bills that I get at my home or I get at my business that I cannot put on auto pay. They don't give me that option. And I find that when those bills show up, it just stresses me out because I have to remember that that is something to take care of. So if I do get a random bill in, instead of letting it lay around or waiting until it's due to pay it, I just get it done, I just pay it. And if it's something you don't have the money to pay at that point, or you don't want to mail the payment just yet, go on and prepare it, write your check, get it in the envelope, put the stamp on it. And then on the back of the envelope, make a note to yourself, mail on, and then put the date. 
And I, I do that sometime with our some of our taxes that are due for the business. I sit down one day, I do all of the reports, all of the taxes, I get them all prepared, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to pay a single tax until it's due. <laughs> so I get everything prepared and I just hang on to that envelope. It's on my desk. I see it every day and I know when it has to be mailed, but at least it's done. It's off my list. It's out of my mind. And all I have to do is put it in the mailbox on the designated day. <laughs> yeah, these are my helpers, y'all. These are my office assistants. They hang out with me here and we get our work done. And speaking of automated, there are only a couple things in my house or in my household that I have automated. And you all know Pollux, this little dude right here, he sheds like crazy. So I have a robot vacuum. I've talked about it in a video before and it has truly been a lifesaver. But I don't want to remember to turn on that robot vacuum every day. I just don't want to remember it. So I have my robot vacuum set up on a schedule. And I actually have two robot vacuums. I have one that does the main floor of our house and it does it during the day when I'm gone. Because we have hardwood floors and ceramic tile floors, that has to happen during the day when I'm gone. I do not want to hear it, but I want it to happen automatically. Our other robot vacuum is in the living room and our living room has carpet. So I have that vacuum scheduled to go off at night while we're asleep because it's super quiet. You can't even hear it anyway, but I love waking up in the morning, walking in here. My living room is freshly vacuumed. There's no more dog hair and it just does it while I'm sleeping. So if you can automate anything in your household, that is a huge time saver and an organization tip. So there's my robot vacuum. It's right here in my living room and it picks up this dude's hair every single night while I'm sleeping. When I go to bed at night, all I have to do is pick up Pollux's toys, put them in his bed, and then the robot vacuum does its magic. And the last thing I want to show you, if you post a lot of things on social media, which I do for our ice cream shop, I make a social media post on Facebook and Instagram every single day, sometimes two times a day. That's what you got to do to get the customers to know you exist and to get them into your brick and mortar business. Social media is so important and I simply cannot remember to do that every day. So I use a social media scheduling app. I can do it all in advance and I want to show you that app. So if you are somebody who runs a business or has a brand and post a lot of things on social media, this will help you. This has been a game changer for me on the business side. So I use a, a social media scheduling app called later.com and you can see later.com shows me a week at a glance. So for our ice cream shop, I love to schedule my social media posts by the day and I can schedule for Instagram and Facebook. And then I'll show you what I have scheduled for tomorrow. We're doing hot cocoa bombs in our ice cream shop. So you can see that I have imported a picture into later.com. I write the content I want for my post and then you can schedule the date and time that you want the post to go live. What's really cool is on Instagram you can tag people, you can save hashtag sets. So if there are hashtag groups that you commonly like to use, you can save all of those so you don't have to remember them or retype them. So this social media scheduling app called later.com has really been invaluable. It just lets me do everything in advance. My posts go up. I don't have to think about them. It's been, it's been great. So those are some tips and tricks, some things that are absolutely invaluable to me to stay organized that help me get it all done throughout the day. I have a lot to do and those are just, those are things that I rely on. Things that really, really help me stay organized and get done what I need to do. You can implement some of those things into your personal life, into your professional life if you have a business. Just little, the smallest little teeniest of things. Any little thing that can help me be organized and free up the space in my brain. Those things are super important to me. So I think you can probably implement some of these little tips into your personal or business life. Now, next you're gonna ask me, how do I have the energy to get all of this done? I am often asked that question 
and I have another video coming up that is going to tell you how I get it done. I, again, have some tips and tricks and things and methods that I employ to give me the energy and the spunk and the power to just get it all done every day. So, so look for that video coming up soon. But thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you later.